Welcome to Eastern Illinois University. Question is, is he perfect? He says he's doing it for God's glory. Aluminum foil hat. Tori, straight out of Eastern. Other students. Yoga pants girls. Eastern Illinois University. You know that you can't, you can't really take pictures without someone's consent. Are you a proud Christian? Yes, I'm a proud Christian. I'm a oh. missionary. He's a missionary, a Luther missionary, and your twin goes to Illinois State. Yes. Chastity belts. Watch it. And I sang a song earlier. Uh, song was the Johnny Cash song. I'm warning people, hey, if you don't repent, you could go down, down, down to a burning lake of fire where it burns, 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 and the flames grow higher. The lake of fire. Think about it. We have a contender here. He's saying Jesus would have done the real gospel, talking about love. Talking about slavery and to love God. Oh, that's an honest answer. You know why I think a lot of people, I'm sure, they haven't really read enough of the Bible. To make a, a intelligent decision whether it's true or not. The question is, how do we know whether a statement is true or not? Or, or uh, some information is true. We put it to the test of reason. Is it reasonable? We put it to the test of certain self-evident truths. You know, one way I knew the Bible moral code was true, because it and affirm what my conscience told me. True that. My conscience told me it was wrong to murder, to steal, to bear false witness, lie or cheat, to cover other people's possessions. And then I read the Bible to affirm what my conscience told me. I told about how I married my wife, but we had five babies. Five children. She was her turned out to be a regular little baby machine. Baby machine. No, no, no. She's lecturing Brother Jet. Just here, listen, Brother Jet. Here, here, hear, hear me out. Hear me out. The reason why is because sex is the most precious thing that God created. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, it's one of the most beautiful things because it well, maybe one, because it but not the most. The holy trinity Jesus. Of, of a white man, woman, and God. That's why. Okay? That's why. And look at it, let me put it to you this way. Let me give you an analogy, okay? Okay. Sex for women is like your degree, your diploma. The man has to earn this. Let's say you attend Eastern for, the, for, for you're here for four years and they say in four years you get your diploma, right? Right. Now, oh you've been here for say one year, now two years. And if Eastern said, hey, you, you know what? You're a great student. You've shown such dedication. We are so proud of you. Matter of fact, we're Sex gonna diploma. Right now. Would you like that? Oh, you guys would jump on it and be like, heck yes, give me your diploma, give me that diploma. Now, here's a trick. You got your diploma. But then Eastern says, oh, but we need you to keep coming for the next two years after that. And we need you to pay still, and we need you to do homework. You're going to tell me right now you would tell Eastern, oh, yeah, I'll still come back. Hell, no, you wouldn't. You would say, I'm not coming back because I already got my diploma. Preach it, girl. I don't need to come to school anymore. That's what a man feels like. We need to show men that they need to earn their diploma. We need to stay here for the four, the six, the five, whatever years or months that you need so that they can finally earn it. So that when finally when they get that diploma, they realize that they've worked it's so It's too good to stop the video. They the sweat, blood, and love into that diploma that they're going to frame it, frame it on a wall. And they're going to cherish that diploma. That's what they're going to do. We're talking about sex diplomas. That's, what you, that's why. You shouldn't do it. Not because you're going to go to hell. Not because it's the wrong thing to do per se. But because you deserve better. Because you're that much beautiful. You're so precious. I don't know about you, but I was sick and tired of feeling like shit every single time. Uh, language they are. Be like I said, I was sick and tired of feeling that way. Feeling like shit. Feeling like crap. Uh, uh, Understanding uh, uh. why. Why wasn't this guy seeing? Understanding why am I not loved the way I should be loved? And it's because I gave that man his diploma in, in six months, because I then went around to the next guy, gave his diploma for a year later. I never let any of them stick around for the four years that they deserve. And now I can honestly say that I have found the man that I love and I want to spend the rest of my life with. And I did have sex with him. What? I did. Because I was learning. Because I was understanding. Now you ask God. And now, oh, actually, 
Absolutely, I asked God for forgiveness. And now I told the same man, I don't want to have sex anymore. Okay, good. Born and was, again virgin. And like I said, you can join the team. Okay. The bald guy likes what we're doing. He says he likes the unfiltered, open form. Yes, I love. He has a good thoughts. Open dialogue to challenge people's belief. That's Tori talking about Michaela. And that's why I met you. And all you did was turn me away. All you did was cause me to dislike you and your ministry more than I ever did. Alright. And now, I'm sure that I'm not the only one that, that, that you're, I'm sure you're not the only one. That's probably where most people are. Bible okay. challenge from Tori. Slavery, dashing their babies against rocks, and at the siege of Jerusalem, woman usurping like authority. Now he's pointing at the sign at the crowd. So, there's a guy with a sign. Rational conversation from a research student. And uh, overly emotional. But they're listening because they're sitting down. Jingle, Jingle. bells! Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh.